Wow, I'll tell you what, James Detroit here. I took a little time out from this last video. I turned on the news, and wouldn't you believe it is even more challenging for me to have any any sense of normality in my life. I'm James Detroit. Thanks for being with me right here. I'm going to try to be quick. I'm going to maybe try to be a little bit entertaining. I will tell you this. Conditioning. The United States citizenry has been... We've been conditioned, especially over the last four years, to hear things, to see things, to attempt to have us believe things that are just not true. Which also includes a little thing called the Constitution. To the Democrats, it's a little thing. To people like myself and probably like you, the Constitution of the United States is a very big deal. Watch Life, Liberty, and Levin. Last night's episode. Just watch it. I read it on Friday, the Constitution, the 14th Amendment. He read from the Constitution, again, how elections are decided. In the year 2000, we spent 37 plus days waiting to find out what one state, because it was too close to call, and it was only three counties in one state, before we declared, before it was declared, who was the president-elect. This is not collusion on the part of Fox News and all the other media. This is on purpose. Again, part of the conditioning of our minds that they're trying to do. Because the next thing that's going to happen after you have a re-canvassing, a canvassing of the votes that came in, and I'm sure we're going to see a great deal of tightening, if not a swing, in those electoral states, as well as a recount in states. This is not over, but what they're conditioning you for is that now the term, instead of he's fighting the election results through the legal process, then they're going to say he's being a dictator. He said he wasn't going to leave. He didn't want to leave. No, what he said was, his comment was, if you'll have a peaceful transition of power if you lose the election, and his response was spot on. There was not a peaceful transition of power in 2016. We've been fighting for three and a half plus years. I'll wait and see what the election results are. We do not have election results confirmed yet. And for these Democratic secretaries of states in these swing states, in these Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, etc. There's not just a little bit of voter fraud. People are stepping forth, coming forward saying, I was told by my superior to predate these mail in ballots. That's fraud. The number of people that I know personally in the state of Michigan, the number of people that have come forth to verify that their vote was stolen from them in Nevada, these are not just singular episodes. There's enough evidence here to point toward extreme voter fraud. If I don't believe the results of this election, regardless of who won, if I don't believe in the integrity of the, in, the results of this election, and many people like me don't believe in the integrity of the results of this election, then we've lost our republic of the people, by the people, for the people. Our ability to govern ourselves as we elect those people. 
We need to make sure that our minds are not conditioned to believe what the media is trying to convince us of. I'll be back again. This is James Detroit. Thanks for stopping in with me. Look forward to seeing you.